everybody welcome and or welcome back my name is leah Catherine. this is leah sees movies and we are back with the next episode of castlevania and hopefully this one will not make me cry like the last one did mostly because it was embarrassing but um it was a really good episode i enjoyed it a lot we got to see annette's backstory we saw her joining the haitian revolution we saw her being smuggled away from her vampire slave owner by um edward and they made me more a character who was already dead which i personally do not care for we got a really interesting interaction between All Rocks and Mizrak, I'm gonna say. Intriguing music played, and I was indeed intrigued. So I'm curious to see if we're gonna get to see All Rocks. Uh, All Rocks. No, it is. All, all, mm, oh no! I I feel like I had his name, and now I'm not sure about it anymore. All All Rocks. All Rocks. All Rocks. I feel like we're gonna see maybe All Rocks start to tiptoe over to the side of our heroes or at the very least not in opposition to our heroes and like gonna be playing that little bit of a middle ground and we're gonna see what's up with Edward's soul and where it may or may not be. Is it still encased in the monstrous form he's been turned into? Is it just kind of like the remnants of who he was that protected Annette? I don't know but I am excited to get some answers to those questions. So I'm going to keep this brief. Let's get started. <laughs> oh boy, that sure is a book. Okay, so are we gonna get to see the actual Forge Master now? So they're trying to figure out understand what you are, yeah. how he still in control of himself. To obey me. That's not how forge mastering mastering works. They're loyal to their maker. Was there some error in how you were made? And we know that uh, the night creatures can talk, or we saw them in the last series. Do you understand? Aww. You exist only for me. And again, he has enough of himself to be horrified at what he sees so it seems like it's just his soul which does seem like there was an error in the forge making process prisoner okay we appreciate the optimism but was it a forge master we were stupid not to think of it before I mean, that's, they were pretty hard on not liking vampires before. They were his eyes. I abandoned him when they killed him. I cannot abandon him now. So what do you want to do? Rescue him? Yes. Even if it is Edward, maybe he doesn't want to be rescued in it. But he saved her. Maybe the only way to save him would be to kill him. And face it, he's already dead. I mean, but there is still a degree of peace in that, if you really believed he'd been turned into a monster. We can't just charge into the Abbey hoping to defeat a fucking powerful sorcerer. We need a plan. We have magic. What three of us do? Oh. If I can't save it, Rude. Oh, just walk in and kill it. I mean, that's basically what uh, the mom did with her sister. We want to Cersei Lannister him in that very poor Game of Thrones ending. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's like he knows enough to be like, we need a plan, but it's like, I should not be responsible for that. And the fact that it's come to this, me demanding a plan, we're fucked. Us. There's a secret underground passageway into the Abbey. She's great at sneaking into places, apparently. This time I'm coming with you. <laughs> we already lost our fourth. <laughs> Why are we bringing a new fourth? Fourths don't do well. Quests are for three people max. Oop! Oop! <laughs> uh, I knew there was a vibe. Also, it is daytime, sir. Okay, so the abbot is the forge master. So 
she knows he means to betray her. He thinks the devils he manufactures will be enough to destroy her. And if that goes... <laughs> so hot. <laughs> this alliance can't last. The moment you've crushed your enemies, she'll turn. Is that not what I said a few episodes ago? Eventually, they're going to have to fight it out. So he bribed some demon to give him this power. Build a machine, promising victory. What was the cost? A bunch of souls? Like, I feel like it has to be some type of soul situation. And who pays it? Just him? Or all of you? Or you? There are demon charlatans whose faces you can laugh at. He's like, I'm an expert. Not to brag or anything. No demon is a god. Just one. That's the only thing I'm sure of. And I've spent my whole life serving him. But how can you say that and in the same breath be like, yep, the abbot is a forge master and he's working with the vampire? Like, we see that Mizrak, th Mizrak is like very, like, he's very serious about his faith. It means a lot to him. It's gotten through the darkest times. But, how, like, the cognitive dissonance must be killing him, right? Because. Is this, like, this is not in any version of the Bible I read. I wish the Bible had more vampires. That'd be kind of sick. But pretty sure demon deals and demon making and vamp like vampire alliances with people who mean to uh, take over the world and crush the peasantry, like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. miss that part in Jesus's fables. You're bowing to her. Come on. Ma'am, how do you know this? Also, that's a really large entrance way. I like Richter, I really do. But it's so kind of like disappointing having a Belmont who like doesn't know how to do anything. And I get it, his mother died when he was 10, but I feel like Trevor wasn't that much older and he clearly had a much better education. Jolta, Jolta Twentis. Jolta How much do you think astigmatism pink contacts would cost? A lot, probably. Y'all think you're gonna magic your way into being daywalkers? I feel like they're standing very close to sunlight like a lot of this show. What happened to not being nocturnal? I haven't choked yet. And nor has your mistress. Your soul must scream in outrage at the very thought. My soul is at peace. Obsessed. Which yours will never be. I like him. He's feisty. Vampires do tend to like him. It wasn't our intention to insult you. I mean, you did pretty flagrantly, but sure. Did you think we were flirting? You really should attempt to be in that school. Every oracle she tops. I'm obsessed with her. <laughs> Like, how, how do you guys share a common enemy? You want people to go to church and she wants to eat you. There is literally n no scenario where you have a common enemy. Unless you're stupid. I mean, you did it, but I guess that's why she's asking. That's it? There will be more. I mean, I guess they've been getting killed, but still. Clearly he's not as good as Isaac and Hector. They were pumping him out. I assure you my mistress won't disappoint. She's just a rich psychopath. My creatures, you had some feisty glass. <laughs> Show me the demon. Please tell me it's downstairs because all this sunlight is giving me a headache. For what reason this whole scene couldn't take place at night? Like, it's not like the church is active after dark. Like, 
I'm trying to figure out like is it easier to animate it in a bright light or is it just to show that like she's not afraid to go out and do stuff. But we haven't seen Eduardo talk yet. I smell pain, regret, despair, a human soul. I Oh, there it is. He said, I remember two things, Annette and freedom. <laughs> That's really all that matters. Power, friendship. We're here for the truth. Seriously. She said she traveled here from Russia. You're a transplant. How do you know all the secret, the secret secrets? I kill demons. No. That's what we do. That's Most effectively. Like, effectively at like the murdering part, but the knowledge part. Lacking. There he is. Three things. Italian operas. Do they do that? <laughs> no, no, no. See, you love to make a scene, girl. Relax. I mean, I guess they don't know that they're, they're having a night creature wine tour right now, but like, reconnaissance, bitch. Have you heard of it? I was gonna say, how come they're not in cages too, but if they're all loyal to the Forge Master, you don't need cages. Speaking of the night creature wine tour, y'all vampires slash the abbot, you don't hear all these creatures screaming, yelling, dodging, fighting. I know he's singing, but not that loudly. See, now that was a quick silent death. Night creature wine tour. Do I know you? Pull it together, girly girl. Also, why does the abbot look so upset? He looks like genuinely upset, like that they just saw that he's involved with shenanigans. And Edward is set in the mood as per usual. Now, girl. Can you do her earrings? She has these long ass earrings. Can, can you uh, just like, shift them and make them like stab her Ooh. you should have paused you should just go straight for the blow Ooh. she's a child this slaughter of children isn't part of our bargain sir are you her parent are you her daddy you don't have a weak stomach father Abbott. bro are you her daddy Cause I was like, he looks way too upset for some randoms to be seeing his secrets. And he wants to protect Maria. Girl, if you open the cage. We did, let's talk about it outside. Change into a whole monster and you still can't fight? Like, open the cage. Okay, do that outside, do like a. Let's go pet the rabbits and then do it. I come back. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And I'm sorry, Edward. I thought it's what you wanted. How are you less useful in a fight after being a night creature than you were as a human? Ooh. Nice, 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 nice. What about that? Is he grown up enough for me to kill? <laughs> yeah, sure. Her, I guess, she, it, it feels like her like little transforming thing kind of takes time, but I feel like go for the earrings. She's wearing metal. Oh, what on her? I forgot they get magic too. Ooh, nice. Oh, that didn't last long. Can't let the marquee be killed by someone else. That's your kill, girl. Who's 
fucking next. <laughs> I'm kind of pissed that Annette didn't get to kill the Marquis. Like, that's her kill. And let her kill Olorox? Like, he killed her dad. Her, her dad. Her mom. Yeah, no, that's definitely the baby daddy. The kingdom of God itself is Which makes it so funny that she hates him. The world is in danger. The poors want rights. Little boy <laughs> they don't want to pay taxes to the church. They're not even tithing 10%. It's like a four. And... Well, Richter's down. I've only been scared once. Come on, Annette. He killed your traumatic backstory. We have to go. We have to get out of here. We have to fucking go. Wait, is he actually there? Because they're looking at him all confused, like. Okay, no, he is there. Pocket sand. Pocket sand. No! Yeah. I'll be back for you, I promise. What? I control metal and earth and you didn't just open the door? Annette, I want to rock with her so bad, but she peeves me. He was just an opportunist, following the Messiah because she's powerful. But there are those who love her, so I'm told. However, I'm built different. I'm actually smart. <laughs> I'm all rocks. She's expecting me. Oh, of course. The, what's the word? Aztec. Aztec? Interesting. Richter? That man bolted. <laughs> he must have broke a record. He ran away. He ran the fuck away. Your your vampire backstory is dead. That's nice. Also, it is getting dark. He saw his nightmare. Red flesh. Do we have the uh, vampire rule in this world where they have to ask permission to go into someone's home? I feel like not. I don't think, I don't think we saw vampires try to enter a human home in the previous series though. So I, I don't think I would know. Okay. So I feel like the biggest reveal that hasn't been revealed, but has totally been revealed is that the abbot is totally Maria's daddy. And if I'm wrong, I will eat my hat, but come on. Like that's the only thing that makes sense for like why the mom is Tara. Tara. Why she's so insistent that the abbot is a good man. He helped me. He helped me. She knows a bunch of secrets about the church, the temple, whatever, that no one would rationally know, even if they were a refugee taken in by the church, because those are, those are the secret secrets. Those are the things you don't tell anybody unless, you know, they're down for the cause or like, unless they're literally like your soldier of Christ type dude. Like you don't just tell random people that you might tell the woman you're sleeping with that. You might tell the mother of your child that. Also it explains why the abbot looks so shook by them seeing what he's up to, by Maria getting hurt, by like him intervening. She's, he, he is the father, okay? Like Maury isn't here, but I'm sure of that in my heart. What else? Edward can't co can't keep a good singer down. He does not know anything. He's still sad. He cries more now as a monster from hell, but he can still sing and that's what he's gonna do. <laughs> it's so funny because like in the first, when they first introduced him, I'm like, all right, he's nice. He's funny. He's a good friend. Don't know why he's at this fight. He seems underqualified. So when he died, I was like, eh. And then they had this whole backstory. I'm like, oh my God, he's such a good guy. Like now I'm really sad he's gone. And now he's kind of back but in a lamer way than even when he was first introduced, which I doesn't really make sense to me, but he looks really cool. So he still has that going for him. Uh, Annette, driving me bananas, banana pancakes. Why, why, did, why did she do anything she did this episode? Like, why was she standing in front of this cage crying and like just in the middle of a fight? People are fighting for their lives. Maria is bleeding. She is being attacked. Tara is meeting her dramatic backstory. And she's at this cage crying. And so first she's like, oh, I'm gonna kill him because he's a monster. Except first you were like, that's Eduard. That's my friend. He saved me. And then they're like, no, no, he's dead. So then you're like, well, if he really is a monster, if he's really lost, I'll kill him. It'll be a mercy. Okay, fair. But he's having a full conversation with you. He's remembering things with you. He saved your life. At that point, I wouldn't be thinking, oh, I need to kill him. I'd be thinking, let's get out of here. We'll figure it out from there. 
because clearly he's in there. So even if not all of him, he is in there. So it's very weird to me that she went straight to the killing, even though in the previous conversation she didn't want to immediately kill him. It was like the last resort option. And then she didn't just open the door. <laughs> I have control over metal and earth, but she didn't just open the door. <laughs> I'll come back for you. Why? To increase the runtime? Because there's no other reason for that. And I, I'm partially holding it against Annette, I'm partially holding it against the writers, because why would you do that? Richter, I'm really mad that he's the one that got to kill the Mar uh, the Marquis. Wait, 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 no, no, no. I totally mixed it up. It's, it's, I'm so sorry. This whole time I was like, I don't think it's fair that he gets to kill her traumatic backstory, but he didn't. That was the Marquis, not the other dude, not Annette's tra tragic backstory vampire. Vol, 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 Voltaire. So I was completely, uh, everything I said about that was wrong and someone's gonna be like, yeah, it was actually, I know now that that was not him, but I got confused. But the Marquis dead, which is fine. I haven't, you know, good for Richter. I, <laughs> I feel bad because now everyone's giving him shit because he wanted to make a plan, which Considering we didn't make a plan and we lost Edward, you think they would be like, you know what, maybe we do need a plan, but guess not. Um, and then he he kicks some ass, he kills some night creatures, he kills the Marquis, he faces his own trauma, and he runs the other direction. And I am not saying this in judgment, that is fight or flight, baby. And this time he chose flight. And he even said, like, the last time I was scared was 10 years ago. He's been suppressing a lot of emotion for a very long time. And he just, he wasn't prepared to face it again. And I feel bad that I, I don't think Annette specifically is going to give him grace. I think obviously Maria and Tara will. Um, but <laughs> despite all of that, it was kind of funny. This man booked it. <laughs> he was gone. He said, catch up if you can. Alrax and Mizrak, my new favorite ship on Earth. Alrax is, Alrax, Alrox, Alrox, and Mizrak. The O's and the A's are getting mixed up. They're just really hot. Alrox is really cool. I like the way he swans into every scene. Like you just know he's the baddest bitch in the room. His hair looks good. He knows he's stronger than everyone, smarter than everyone. Like everyone's like, ooh, it's Jolta, it's Jolta. She's like the head, whatever. She's second in command to the Messiah, the Elizabeth. And he's just like, hi, I'm Ulrich. She's expecting me. Bye. Like, <laughs> I love him. I love him. Yes, he killed Richter's mom, but whew, she shouldn't have been caught lacking, I guess. She should. You can be uh, the enemy of the heroes, and I will root for you if you're a bad enough bitch. And he, in fact, is as well as Jolta. I feel like they really leveled up, because um, I won't. I won't lie. I don't want to downplay like Carmela, uh, not Carmela, like uh, Camilla uh, wasn't awesome. I actually did love her and her sisters. They were great. I was. I did not care for the cutesy kawaii like one that was honey trapping uh hector didn't really care for her i thought she was a little too obvious i liked the other ones the the couple they didn't get a lot of screen time though so actually yeah i don't want to i don't want to downplay like we didn't have these really cool bad guys in the first series we totally did but i don't know man drill's a hit for me and Ulrox also hits for me and Mizrak also hits for me and I feel like the initial like, ooh, it, the, the oomph is hitting for the bad guys in this show more than our heroes, which is kind of sad. But uh, like if I had these bad guys with the with the OG three, uh, perfect show. If I could just eh, them together, perfect show. So overall, I think this was definitely a bit of a weaker episode compared to last week's but I still really enjoyed it. I definitely have like, with the bad guys especially, I just love all of their scenes. I love their screen time and I like getting to know them better. And so knowing that there's a season two like already greenlit and on its way, I'm wondering, okay, which of these bad guys is gonna survive into the next season and where's that gonna go? Cause Camilla was like a season one antagonist to Dracula really in the original Castlevania. And then she became the, like, the big bad on her own. So, well, the big bad on one part of the fight. <laughs> one of several big bads, but a, a higher tier big bad than she started out as. So now that we have our OG big bad, which is gonna be Elizabeth Bathory, 
is she gonna get killed but then like Drolta will live and then that will be her kind of Camilla like ascension to power or is are they both gonna die and Ulrox is gonna be our ultimate big bad because I'd rock with that entirely knowing that there's a season two I'm so I, I, I can't I can't put it together. I think I'm comparing it a little bit too much to the original because I'm kind of expecting them to go in the same direction. But I also feel like because of that, they will like zig where I expect them to zag. So I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to end this one here. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, comment, etc. All of those good things make me very, very happy. If you don't want to do any of that, but you've watched all the way to the end of this video, thank you. I so really, really appreciate you. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.